Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. This is episode 22. Last time we continued our journey in Orzammar doing some favors for Balin. We took out Javier and the Carter. Unfortunately, that means Lesky, the traitor, because that's all he had going for him in life, also had to perish. And uh, our journey continues because we've been asked to go to Orton Taig. Um, because Bronco was said to be passing that way. So the the last uh, and most recent Paragon in so long. And uh, we've got to go and either make them join us, uh, make them join us, or, or kill them, silence them. That's what Balin was saying, which uh, doesn't seem, doesn't seem super great, does it? Still, and I start. I still every day. I run past this and I go. This does something, you know. There's, it's definitely a pressure plate, and it it either opens something or it allows you to do something else. And I think after running over this so many times, I'm going to try and figure this out. There's similar rooms like this. It looks like that there are, I don't know if the floor is like a pattern to follow for things. I don't know if you have to do it in a particular order, but I'm gonna put my character there. And then try and find another one. I'm gonna assume that you need, you would need to have party members like placed on them separately, right? You know, and it looks like it would be something like this, but this one doesn't go off. So it makes me, it makes me think like there's a particular sequence or order of events, potentially. Like they stand out enough to be noticeable in the floor like this stuff. And this is just like a rug. There's one here. But they don't... We haven't come across a, a, a single one that has made a noise outside of the one in uh, the, first, the first area. And that's kind of the annoying part. Is we, we run and we check it and we go... Yes, and then the game says no, and I'm like, okay. So apparently there's nothing in there. This is the master bedroom, Balin's bedroom. There's one here as well. Alas, it makes no noise when you walk over it. But this is the trial and error thing, right? I'm like, does everyone have to be stood on one at the same time? Can you only go through it in a set order where one character runs on each of them um, in a particular sequence? The only reason I think that everyone has to be on one at the same time is because of the uh, the fact that when the character walks off of it, like you could hear it like reset almost. I don't think there's... Huh. Okay, that makes this awful. But this might be the... Okay. This might be our... What does it look like on the map? It looks like nothing. Maybe like a doorway or something opens. It looks like there's like an... Could be like an alcove, but it also doesn't. Okay, we have something. Hmm. Is it both of these on either side, or is this just count as one? I think that that might count as two. Which is curious. Okay. Yeah, that's two, okay. 
But at the very least, that means that there's only one left. Because the game is supposed to obviously only operate with four party members. And it... It doesn't have to be one of these plates, because now it's just a thing that's on the wall. So now I feel like I've got to just stand on random indentations. And hope for the best. The floor in this area is all different. Just walk and stand on things and see what, like, makes... Uh, see what happens. Maybe you interact with the throne of Orzammar. Okay, so now we've come around to the side here. Okay, maybe we interact with the, th the throne. Oh, shit! Did that work? Is that what that is? Okay. Oh, I was expecting a doorway to... It sounded like the way that the press plates were it might open something. Okay. We've interacted with the throne before and nothing happened, so I think it's safe to assume that this is what you had to do. That's really weird. Okay. So you stand on a center pressure plate, then there's just two over there, and then you interact with the throne and a dragon is summoned? Okay. Sure. That's, that's fine, I suppose. That's really strange. Okay, let's go and attack a dragon. As you say. What the hell? I should have saved. But who am I supposed to... Who am I, who am I to assume that I'm going to be facing a dragon? But I should have saved. Well, at the very least, we know how to do this. That's weird. Okay. Let's kill this dragon. Yes, paralyzed. Let's go. Get those blows. Let's do it. I'm better at killing dragons now. But this is also isn't a high dragon, so it's okay. Okay. Jesus. That was almost... That was scary for a second. What the fuck? Alright, well, now we've got our first dragon codex entry because we've had high dragon before. Female dragons take much longer to mature than their male counterparts. They, too, undergo a metamorphosis of sorts at adulthood, but while males lose the use of their forepaws, females actually grow a third set of limbs specifically to serve as wings. Young females travel great distances looking for a suitable nesting site. Because of their nomadic habits, these are the date dragons most frequently encountered by man. Um... Ageless weakens nearby dork, dark spawn, dork spawn, uh, messy kills plus four damage versus dark spawn, increases hostility and intimidation, and stamina regen. Damn, this be a we can make Sten like a dark spawn and a dragon slayer. We like uh, have Sten in our party with uh, what is it, Yasaris? I think the weapon was called the dragon slaying weapon, and then also give him a dark spawn weapon as well. That's pretty sick. Interesting. There's just a random dragon that gets summoned by interacting with the throne of Orzammar, apparently. And then it also locks us in the room. It's a good thing that our character just gets teleported in. That was weird. I wonder if there's like an explanation as to why. Like, is anyone in here aware of the fact that they were keeping a dragon in here? Or did, did it... You know, was that a... Was that a secret to anybody here? Anybody you guys know that you just had a dragon that I just summoned in here? I'm glad that I figured that one out. I've been thinking about it for multiple episodes now. <laughs> and then it finally happened. Uh, now, we can leave... I think we have to return to... Oh, no. We can... Okay, I've got uh, Orton Tig, The Thief Den of the Stolen Tome. Go to the Proving Grounds. Deep Roads Expedition. Dagna, so I have to go to the Circle of Magi. And also Circle of Magi for a smuggling shipment. Okay. Lord Harrowmont! Furious at the Grey Warden's interference. 
claims no one can stop his plans to strip Orzammar's defenses. Say insiders. Say insiders. Master Miller, what are you doing here? We can go to the Proving on our way out, I think. We could go to the Proving. We haven't even been there yet. Okay. Absolutely. We do drink their blood. Um, let's go to the Proving so I can see if I can follow this lead. And then I'm assuming if we go into the deep roads from here, a new location would have opened up. I guess. Oh God! I question it may be able to answer, Elder Mage. Must it always be Elder Mage? I'm not a wizened old crone just yet. Would it prefer Mage well past her prime? Don't mind the sagging bits. You have an odd way of requesting answers to your questions. I'm curious about the abominations of the tower. Is it possible for such a creature to become a human again? Yes, it is simply very difficult. It requires travel into the Fade. And is the mage the same afterwards as the mage was before? No, I have never met such a person, but no, they are changed forever. I understand. Thank you for the answer, wise one. Wise one? I change. I like that. That's cute. I trust Vala. I trust Vala. Well, we're about to go and fuck up some Haramon fanatics. Can I do this out of combat? Again. <laughs> Balin, stupid. <laughs> I was like waiting for combat this whole time. What the fuck? That was so weird. <laughs> I love that you can cast Earthquake out of combat, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, you a funny one, you are. Oh, a funny one, you are. Whoa! Oh, the the noises. Oh, the noises that 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 is making. Holy shit! That's fucking crazy. Very well. My dog be just fucking him up. My favorite part is this. My favorite part about this battle is this guy. He's just like... Oh, just another day on the Proving Bridge. <laughs> Political battles taking place. People trying to assassinate people in, in broad daylight. Wind just getting targeted by this guy. Get paralyzed. Here comes trouble. It is done. Well done, team. Never doubted you for a second. That's my uh, that's my dog's new ability. Very Just well. straight up pinning him down and going to town. Love to see it. The proving. Okay. Now, I haven't been here since I was but nothing but a brand. Can you believe how many families are supporting Balin? I can. What do Actually. they have to prove? They're all soft, filthy things that are going to die. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if Balin fought Haramont in a proving for the throne? <laughs> Literal just fight to the death for the throne. I can't wait to watch Piotin fight. He's so accomplished. Piotin. Watch for Piotin Naidukin. He's won the squad combat four years running. He has 11 decapitations so far. He needs just three more for the one season record. <laughs> Is he related to Balin? You sodding bet. First cousin, son of Endrin's own sister, and a second cousin from the Canold and Idukin line. When he was alive, Prince Trian called Piotin the horns of the Idukin army. I guess you've watched a lot of provings then? Better believe I saw your victory last year. Nice one. Name's Varric. I got a controlling interest in a mine off the old Roost and Tig. But my backers know not to hand me a pick any day there's blood on the stone, if you know what I mean. 
That's cool. There's like a, a passage of time there being like last year is when our proving took place. Have you ever fought in one? Me? Are you out of your mind? I'm a miner, not a warrior. I love the, what are the rules? It's like, I'm sorry, you are, you literally did it. Did you hit your head or something? They change from round to round. Sometimes it's bare hands, sometimes weapons, sometimes pairs or squads. It's announced when the fight begins. That's about all the warning anyone gets. Isn't that nice? Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm telling you, Piotin will take the prize. You can put gold on it. I've got dwarving to do. See you later. I don't understand those silent sisters. I sure wouldn't want my sister cutting out her tongue and fighting Darkspawn. Huh. Haromont's men are going to get their beards handed to them. <laughs> Basil? If you're looking for seats, speak with a guardsman. Proving master. We are at your service. I hope you were enjoying the provings. Oh, it's you. What are you doing back here? Did the wardens realize their mistake and throw you back? Campbell, what are you doing here as a dwarf? I want to sign up for the proving. <laughs> I'd like to hear more about who's fighting. Well, with politics what they are. Many combatants are dedicating their fights to either Prince Balin or Lord Harrowmont, mostly Balin. It's a regular parade of past winners out there. Piotin Iduken always needs a battle unit. He's the prince's cousin. Miaja and Luke John are twins from the warrior cast. They fight together, put on a good show. They'll all be in their chambers if you want to talk. The interesting part about this, I'd like to sign up, apparently. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? <laughs> you know my name perfectly well. I wonder what Call Me Whatever You Like comes out with. You know my name perfectly well. I'll just call you Grey Warden then, and avoid us both some embarrassment. We actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? Um, who will I be fighting? Looks like Suwern's drawn first bout. He was one of the youngest champions ever. Beat his own father at 12 years old. All for the right to earn his battle status two years early. Are you ready to start? What are the rules of the proving? Fight start at the gong and go to first blood. No eye gouging, no groin pulls. The rules of each bout will be announced when it starts. You should be comfortable with normal weapons and lyrium enhanced weapons in single combat, pairs, or battle units. Are you ready to start? Ready and eager, let's go. That's what I like to hear. I will warn you though, this is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the ancestors' disfavor. Do you want to start, or would you like some time? The fighters' quarters are behind the ring. All right, let's uh, let's go talk to the fighters. Come back soon. You'll be fighting the bout as soon as both fighters are ready. Let's go talk to the fighters before we jump in. I don't know if this is going to, because we were told with the Haramont stuff to fight in the proving to do some stuff, but I'm not sure if we by engaging in the proving here that'll influence anything at this point because we've already sided with Balin so hopefully us participating in the proving can be innocent just some innocent fun maybe dust town thugs fixer greden and jertrin okay what's going on here oh oh i knew this shape where stuff would be risky coin for the man who takes the warden down okay He's the bold guy. There he is. Tell tell me and this guy apart. Is <laughs> the bold guy with the beard? God damn it! It's not even the main guy. I know that the the bold guy with the beard is a dude that we already killed, but it's just funny when there's another one. Oh, that, when the dog is doing, like, mauling him. God damn. Those noises. 
Death to pigeons. Nice. Everyone else just watching it happen again. <clears throat> A volume of Shaper history. A volume of Ozma history focusing on the relationship between ancestor lineage and the granting of mining permits in the dead trenches. It is not supposed to be removed from the Shaper. We must return it. This deal was all they're making, Warden. Technically, I haven't done anything wrong. We have no business. Unless you want to make a few coins. Not that I'm suggesting anything. But you're holding the prize now. Interesting. <clears throat> you don't care who you get this shaper at home from? I have a collector in mind. Who actually sells the item doesn't matter. It's your call. As always, I let people make their own decisions. I should shut you down hard. Yes, well, I'll keep my nose clean until you're long gone. How about that? I'm just a businessman. I merely exploit opportunities. I won't get in your way. Return the tome to the Shaper. Okay. Lord da Davianak Volney. You looking at something? Your cool looking hammer. Fucking. Look at that. Get out of here! Okay. Rude. What's up? Fine, then ignore me. I don't care. Don't take it personally. Hanashan's a member of the Silent Sisters, she doesn't talk to anyone. Ooh. What are the Silent Sisters? They're an order of female warriors founded by Astith the Grey, a woman of the warrior caste who first fought for women's right to be soldiers. When no one listened to her words, Astith cut out her tongue and dedicated herself to training until she won a grand proving barehanded. The women who joined her order cut out their tongues in her honor. Nice. Who are you? I am Ferindin. I serve as Hanashan's trainer and translator. As a silent sister, Hanashan cut out her tongue like the ancient paragon, Astith the Grey. As you might imagine, she requires my services for more mundane tasks. Hmm. Whose side are you two on? The silent sisters support the sitting king. They are loyal servants to the Idukans. Nice. And may both our efforts triumph. May the ancestors choose their champion wisely. Okay. Cool. Ancestors, watch over your path. Gwidden. My name's Gwidden. Sorry, I was just leaving. Okay. Proving armsman. Fine to see you here, Warden. A number of people have told me they hope to see you in the provings. It's a rare opportunity to fight against someone so exotically trained. In fact, a few were hoping you'd take part in some informal action. So, informal, you mean illegal? Assembly restricted, not illegal. All that ritual lets nobles rationalize it's not a blood sport. They don't like commoners using the arena for petty squabbles. Some of us prefer an honest spectacle. And sometimes someone needs a good beating, and all that talking gets in the way. <laughs> Okay, it's so that's so funny. It's just like comes to the proving just to be a menace and do things wrong again, like I did the first time I was here. What do you have in mind? Say the word, and I'll line up a team from one of the younger houses. They don't often get a chance to test themselves in the provings. They're a hungry bunch who employ unusual tactics. Understand that there's no concern for fairness here. Your battles will be hard won. Interesting. Who am I facing and what do I get for it? The younger houses are interested in unorthodox tactics. Many hire mercenaries to augment traditional strengths. Anything goes is a fair description. We give small payouts, maybe a bonus from time to time. 
But this isn't about money. It's about skill and the chance to show it. Hmm. I'll come back for some action later. I'll be here. Okay. And that cannot be interacted with. Okay. Shall we find the proving? Do not disturb me. I must meditate before my fight. Oh, well, all right then. All right, let's save. Let's see. Let's see what mess we get ourselves into. Good, you're back. I was about to start looking for you. Are you ready to fight? Remember, once the fight begins, the roster is final. No new additions are accepted, and all withdrawals are marked as losses. Okay. Quit stalling. I'm ready to taste blood. Go down to the ring, then. I'll be right there. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. First up is Suwern of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwern made history as a lad of 12 by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today he fights as champion for the royal Prince Balan against a member of the famed Grey Warden. In the name of House Idukan and our future King Balin. In the name of the Sovereign. You honor me with this fight, because I'm also kind of on the same side as you, bruh. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Fight! Dun 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 Hang on. Oh, I wasn't targeting him. I'm like, why aren't you doing the move? Come, let us end this. Get fucked up. May the paragons watch over me. A warrior dwarf. A warrior dwarf. Stop stunning me. That's my job. Get out of here. The winner is the Grey Warden. Ooh, let's go. That was an exciting start, Warden. Sowern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Are you ready for your next opponent? <laughs> I'll tear out his spine. Who is my next opponent? Next, you're up against Miyaja and Lukja. Okay. As twins, they've always been allowed to fight as a single person. They're warrior cast, but their mother was a smith, so watch out for Miyaja's hammer. And don't forget Lukja. Most fighters do, and end up with a knife in their spine. Are you ready to begin? Just point me to the ring. All right, then. I'll see you out there. This is a glory proving. The Grey Warden will face the notorious duo, the Warrior Cast Twin Terrors, now fighting as champions for Prince Balan, Miyaja, and Luke John. So many Prince Balan warriors. When you fall. <laughs> and may the dirt taste good when I feed it to you. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! I love the energy of this, like the music with this with this fight as well. It's just so cool. Watch your back, Miyaja! They even got combat dialogue with each other, which is cool. For the fools, eh? He's stealthing. He made a mistake stealthing. He failed to protect his sister. You fucking idiot. That was a critical error. Now you die. Fails. The winner is the Grey Warden. You gotta catch these fucking hands, boy. Well, that was an exciting bout. Two on one, and you took them both easily. Are you ready for your next opponent? Who is my next opponent? Next up is Roshan, the only survivor of the Deep Road's raid to retake the Kobaliman Tai. Kobaliman. Ready to begin? Let's go. Just point me to the ring. All right then. I'll see you out there. This is a glory proving. So far, the Grey Warden has won the field, but victory is far from assured. Next to challenge that perfect record is expeditionary Captain Roshan. Will he find Valos Atreidum and defeat the Grey Warden? Does me 
great honor to face you, Ward. The honor is mine. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Fight! I love... I love arena fights in RPGs, in fantasy RPGs. They're so much fun. One of my favorite things, uh, one of my favorite like sections of uh, a childhood video game of mine was the arena in Fable, The Lost Chapters. Just, uh, it's just so much fun. I love fantasy arena fights. Get stunned, get mark of death. Damn you. Damn you. Never should have come here. The winner is the Grey Warden. We do be stunning, exploiting weaknesses and flurrying them to death because better we're better cunning. Warden. I never would have guessed you could triumph over Captain Roshan. Are you ready for your next opponent? Just wait until I get the passive ability that changes my, like, attack to my cunning modifier instead of my strength. <laughs> Who is my next opponent? Pick a partner. Because this will be paired combat against Davianic and his second Olenil. Davianic's been a feared fighter in this arena since he was accused of murdering his own brother. He fought to prove his innocence. When the ancestors cleared him, he went on to be a four-time Grand Proving Champion. Are you ready to begin? Just point me to the ring. All right, then. <clears throat> I'll see you out there. Uh, do I this choose a partner? This round is paired combat. Is it to choose a partner? As Kiatchet fought as King Bloodlick II, defending our empire, so have dwarves always fought alongside a second. Grey Warden, choose okay. your second. For now you face Lord Davianic Volney and Oliniv. Oliniv. I can't choose Shale. I have no second. I will fight alone. I choose Liliana and I choose the Enchanter win. How weird is that that I can't um, pick Shale? I choose the Enchanter win. No, I don't need win. We're going to have... Let's do it. Let's do a Mapo and Liliana combo. Let's go. Last one standing let's get my rogue bard in here. Fight! Fight! Liliana, let's go. Make his breath. Make his breath. I shall do it. You forced our hand. So you've currently got Song of Valor, Mana, Stamina, Regeneration. I'm gonna switch to Captivating Song. I am ready. Indomitable. I'm wondering if Captivating Song is was working on me. Is it? Are you? Is it not in range? This is great. This is a great companion fight. We've got Liliana just going. <laughs> While I fuck this dude up. It's alright, Liliana. You, you, you were a great help. Thank you for shouting your breath the everywhere. Is the Grey Warden. <laughs> Liliana helped. You prove yourself a master of paired combat, Warden. I congratulate both you and your second. Are you ready for your next opponent? Who is my next opponent? This is the championship round. A full squad-on-squad -squad combat. Piot Naidukin leads the same team he's taken to victory in over a dozen Deep Roads expeditions. Are you ready to face the final test? Squad on squad. Ready to win the title. May the ancestors choose wisely. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Only two warriors remain. Fighting for his royal cousin Valen, Piotan Iduken has led his team to triumph over every unit so far. Challenging him, the Grey Warden came from nowhere 
cutting a swath through Orzammar's finest warriors. Each will lead a full unit of four soldiers to see once and for all whom the ancestors favor. You fight well. It will be a pleasure seeing you fall. Hmm. May the stone accept your blood. Last one standing will be declared victor. Fight! Alright, squad on squad combat. Get your butt over there, get your butt over there. Um, let's see. Piotin's right hand. Let's take out this guy first. Yes! Everybody's fault. Everybody's on the ground. I just got critical strikes. That, that stun was a waste of time. Shall be done. Ready. Send me. You should run. This is trouble. Shale's just getting beaten on. Um. I am on. Try not to look too incompetent. It's embarrassing. Struggling to get rid of just this one enemy at the moment. Fucking dude roaring to yeah. God, I'm getting so many misses. Okay. Oh fuck, I just lost win by being way too close to combat. Very well. Oh yeah, Win has that fucking come back to life shit. No shit. Let's go. Oh, stop bullying Win. Come on, dude. Good to go. Yeah. Fuck's sake, dude. So many, so many misses, it's almost fucking, As you say. like, embarrassing. So many misses! Alright, well that sucked. L Liliana's got this on her own. Well that was a fail. Watch out! Well done. Okay, this time I've saved before the fight. <laughs> The crowd is eager to see another victory. I, I took a break so we could actually save instead of just running through it. Go down to the ring then. This, only two warriors remain. Challenging him. Each will fight well. It May the stone accept your blood. One standing will be declared victor. Okay. Maybe we should just bully. Uh, we should go for the right hand, I would say. Because then he can't do that fucking yell. Go. Nope, never mind. He's already. Yeah, he's decided to do the war cry. Alright, yeah, the, the right hand dude is the guy that's gonna be the shithead of this, of this group. He's absolutely the shithead of this group. Uh, 
not allowed. Send me! Uh. Ah. I am ready. Uh. 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 Okay, shale did go down. Piotin is quite strong. I am here. I hate that. Like, I hate being far away and still taking damage because that's like how combat in this game works. Because it's not like doesn't play by those rules of just like, well, you're not close to him, so you can't get hit by him. You know what I mean? Oh, Shale getting stunned as soon as they wake up. It's really annoying. Where next? Cleansing Aura actually really good. Come and get it. You there we go. Gotcha. Cool. I cannot you. And then this, that, that dude was the weakest. Yeah, the right hand definitely needed to go down first. Right hand needed to go down first. <laughs> Hence the name. Congratulations! You defeated the man Prince Trian himself once called the Horns of My Army. Do you deny this Grey Warden has earned the championship? Then I am pleased to announce the Grey Warden as the winner of this memorial proving, the favorite of the ancestors. I guess we'll, we've already sort of we already have a, a a thing, so I, I, we've already sort of pledged to Balin anyway. Fuck it. To Prince Balin, may he rule forever. The ancestors have spoken. That's one way to get a vote for, <laughs> for Prince Balin, baby. All right. Well done, team. Proud of you all. We got cleaned up real good that first time. Good fight today. I'm sorry I had to sit it out. You did me honor, Warden. Get out of here! Hmm. <laughs> Not bad for a surfacer. Not bad for a surfacer, apparently. Okay. Ancestors, watch over your path. I guess I'm referred to as a surfacer because I left, obviously. So what's good is that that dialogue is still lore accurate. There are some good fighters here today. I wish I could be up there. Okay. That was an excellent showing. It seems your uncanny luck still holds. <laughs> this is so exciting. Excellent showing. Excellent showing. Jolly good show. I can't believe it. The ancestors came out of the sodding ground to kiss your feet, Duster. <laughs> oh, I forgot to go in here. I didn't talk to these guys before the fight. I forgot about this door. That was a good fight. Miyaja learned a lot from you. So did Luke, John. Aha. Sad that I did not speak to them before the proving. I was wondering where the fighters were, and then I just totally forgot that there was, yeah, the second section. Writ of censure, the key to the city. Increased understanding of Osma societies revealed a diplomatic cache accessible to representatives of the assembly. While your concerns have merit, the assembly has made itself clear. The space within the Taig is at a premium, but the intended function of the whole merits the additional resources committed. The statues of the Paragons must be the core of the Hall of Heroes. There is no other placement that so benefits Dwarven interests. It is the first glimpse that service ambassadors have of Orzammar, an introduction not just to our living ancestors, but also to the stone from which they were born. They must see it shaped before they can understand the complexity of its raw form. 
The hall must also serve a second purpose as a last sight for departing brethren. Those who choose to leave must do so with the heavy gaze of their ancestors at their backs. It is a reminder of duty and of consequence. We will promote all manner of trade, but also reinforce that uh, those who leave for too long will return as strangers to the stone. Um, oh, was that, the, was that the new one? I remember reading that. Yes, I think that was the new one. I don't, I, yeah, I don't remember reading that one. I've been sick for days. You should have seen me last week. Yeah, yeah, all right. Oh, how do I get to Miyaj's chest? Can't get into that door. Wait, let me click on the, hang on. <laughs> it lets me click on the floor in there. Maybe before the fight? Interesting. Hmm. Maybe before the fight and it's something I've missed. You honor my cousin with your victory. Weird. That was a good fight. So did Luke Ch Um Okay. I'm actually curious. I'm gonna say I'm gonna make a new save file. And I'm gonna load my quick save before the fight. And go down here. Okay, the door is still inaccessible. That was a good fight. So did Luke John. Oh shit, I saved um I saved after, didn't I? That's annoying. Well never mind then. <laughs> I'm not I can't be bothered. <laughs> I can't be bothered going back too far. That's fine. Alright. Proving complete. Just a bit of a proving excursion. Now I should get back on track, which is the deep roads. Stranger, have you seen a Grey Warden hereabouts? I hear tell that he, or was that she, you understand this was several flagons ago, <laughs> was setting out to search for Bronca on the Prince's own orders. Excuse me, how are you aware of this information? Where did you come across this information? Uh... What does this Grey Warden look like? Stout and muscular, fair of face, but with a strong jaw and a bold nose, surrounded by a great glowing nimbus. If she's a woman, she might be more slight, but her eyes will shine with the light of purity, and her large but chaste bosom will heave magnificently. Okay. I've been looking for hours, but I haven't seen anyone who looks like that. Very frustrating. I, I do be carrying around a dump truck ass, my boy. <laughs> you idiot, I'm the warden you're looking for. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I haven't seen anyone who fits that description. Um... Yeah, I haven't seen anyone who fits that description. Hey, hold off here. Wardens and their staff are the only non-dwarfs who've been allowed in the city lately. Does that mean that you, or one of them, are a warden? Huh. I have to say, from all the tales, I was expecting something a little more impressive. Eh, but I guess standards aren't what they used to be. Hey, can I ask you a favor? Sure. Didn't I see you bickering with some noble earlier? Oh yeah, this was that guy. Okay, we've seen him in a conversation. He's have he was having a little argument with a dude before. We have seen this guy before. Okay, that makes sense. That's how you butter someone up to ask them for help. Name's Ogren. Ogren. And if you've ever heard of me before, it's probably all been about how I piss ale and kill little boys who look at me wrong. 
And that's mostly true. But the part they never say is how I'm the only one still trying to save our only Paragon. And if you're looking for Bronca, I'm the only one who knows what she was looking for. Which might be pretty sodding helpful in finding her. Okay, Ogren. The way that his name's written it makes me want to say Ogren. Ogren. Okay, um... Why haven't you gone after her yourself? Believe me, I have. But where she was going, it's a lost tag. No one's seen it in centuries. I searched as far as I could, but it would take teams of warriors searching weeks on end to cover enough ground to hope to find it. Which, I assume, is exactly what Balin scouts have done. And they give the fruits of their labor to you. But they haven't found Bronca herself. And that means whatever they've got, it's not enough if you don't know what she was looking for. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. Are we just are we just rocking with Dwarven Steve Blum right now? Is that what's going on here? Okay. Oh, you want to join me too? Don't I have enough armed lunatics following me already? Okay. Um. I don't know. Will you behave yourself? It's the deep roads. I'll kill Darkspawn. Outside of that, what difference does it make? Bronca was a brilliant girl, but half the time she'd add two and two and make it fifty. <laughs> you want to find her? You need someone who knows how she thinks. Okay. Sounds like we have a deal. You should know that Bronca was looking for the Anvil of the Void. The secret to building golems, which was lost centuries ago. The smith Caradin built it. And with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the anvil. As far as anyone knows, the anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Caradin's cross. No one's seen that tag for 500 years. Wow. Turns out I got a golem with me, so that's going to be cool too. This, that might be some interesting shale lore. Okay. Um, Balin gave me a map. I can get to Caradin's cross. If Balin managed to find it, that's only because he's got dozens of warriors he can send to search night and day. If we're going, let's get moving. Bronca's not gonna sodding find herself. Damn, I got a, I finally got a dwarf in the party. <laughs> I'm the only one giving myself some dwarven representation here. I finally get one. So a level 15 warrior. Oh, well, I'm gonna be I'm gonna have to Of all the I'm breaking my warrior. Uh -huh. I'm breaking my double warrior rule, uh, my single warrior wall my single warrior wall uh to bring shale and Ogren, because I, I still think, uh, especially when it just mentioned like the anvil stuff, I want to, I feel like Shale would be, would be cool here. And I need my, I need my healer. So Liliana can take a, take a back seat. Um, I might adjust my party. Yes. Um, because I might take some stuff off of certain characters. I don't know what uh, Ogren's stuff is yet, so we'll have to we'll have to check it out. Let me just pigeon crap. Yes. Fuck around with my warrior's inventory. Ogren. I'm not saying I should be a first pick for a dance partner, a partner at the inaugural ball, but in the deep roads, I'm your man. Ogren of House Condrat was once a promising member of the warrior cast. His uh, house was not especially high ranked, but many of its members, Ogren included, had won notable victories in the Provings and were considered to be rising in prestige. When the Smith cast family with plenty of money but no political connections offered their daughter in marriage, his family accepted the match, and then everything changed. His wife, Bronca, was named a paragon for her achievements. All of House Condrat joined her newly made now noble house Bronca and vanished with her into the deep roads. As time passed, it became more and more clear that Ogren had been abandoned. He became the butt of jokes throughout Orzammar. He took to drink, which didn't especially help. Drunk and humiliated, he challenged another warrior to approving over an insult and killed him. The match was meant to be fought to first blood. 
As a punishment, he was stripped of his house and barred from bearing arms. The only fate worse for a warrior than exile. Holy shit. Married Branca. Interesting. All right, let's take a look at what you got. You got a battle axe. 32 strength. What are your... What are, where are you at? 37 strength. That's what I like. That's what I like to see, baby. Okay. You are... You are built. So you got a battle axe. One for the ditch. You've got... The hip flask is missing a coat of arms. One for the ditch is scratched around the mouth. A pessimistic view of where the last drink will lead. The contents smell vile as does Ogren on occasion. Okay. You are wearing dwarven heavy gear. Of which that might be good for you, but uh, I'm gonna give you heavy chain mail. And now you just look weird because the because <laughs> it's a different color. Should we give him the the warden? We can give him the warden gear. Well, that's a thing. It's like if we've got like party members that we're gonna have out for a little while, we could just give them to other people. Ah, oh, 30, 38 strength. 38 strength. Ogren be, do be one point behind. Surely I've got something that's like a plus one on the on the, on the strength scale, and then he should be able to wield it, right? <laughs> Surely. We're going to give him ageless, because there's going to be darkspawn in the deep roads. So we'll give him that. Because that, that's also a two-handed weapon. Yeah, you really do be just one strength behind. That is so unfortunate. Plus one constitution. Is there like a ring that gives plus one strength? Ah, uh, the Harvest Festival ring. Restricted to a warrior or rogue. That used to... Uh... I kind of like that one on my character. But I might have to make an exception. Oh, you have a Dwarven Warrior's Belt that gives you plus one strength. Perfect, get that off. Strip the belt. Alistair, because it's going on Ogren. Perfect. Just takes away his constitution and physical resistance, but... You can make Sten go naked. And you can have these. You can have these. There you go. I like that it's like the, the armor is so magical that it just changes its form to fit who's wearing it. Let's go. Now, you've got a lot of, you've got a lot of uh, fatigue now, sir. But hopefully you'll be okay. We'll we'll see we'll see how we go. Let's also give you the battle axe just on the uh, second one there. I don't have any jewelry for you, so you'll have to uh, you'll have to make do. All right, Alistair, you're good. You're good with what you've got. All right, so. Oh, love, <laughs> I'm just gonna have Sten just remain remain naked. Yes. Thunder Humper. Thunder Humper, okay. And this is my group. Let's go, okay. So, 38 strength. Oh, he can, he can actually, he can level up. Oh, I can choose the specialization, all right. Champion, Berserker. Oh, hang on. Oh, he's already a Berserker, and he can be a Reaver or a Champion. Okay, so... Berserker, plus two strength, plus ten health. The first Berserkers were Dwarves. Sacrifice finesse for a dark rage that increased their strength and resilience. Eventually, Dwarves taught these skills to others, and now Berserkers can be found amongst all races. They are renowned as terrifying adversaries. Um, and I believe how the, this game apparently works is because we learned the Reaver specialization by doing the alternate path with the dragon, it un when you unlock it on a save file, it unlocks it forever, which is actually really neat. I actually quite like that because it allows like different um, pathways in the game to be explored and also be rewarding. So plus one constitution and physical resistance. The champion is willpower and cunning. 
Templar. Demonic spirits teach more than blood magic. Reavers terrorize their enemies, feast upon their souls of their slain opponents to heal their own flesh and unleash a blood frenzy that makes them more powerful as they come nearer to their own deaths. A berserker reaver? I don't know. That sounds like a pretty good combo to me. Champion is a veteran warrior and a confident leader in battle. Possessing skill at arms, impressive enough to inspire allies, the champion can also intimidate and demoralize foes. These are the heroes you find commanding an army or plunging headlong into danger, somehow making it look easy. I guess you are going to become a reaver. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look at your talents and skills. So, full berserker tree already unlocked. The stench of blood and death drives the berserker into a willing fury, providing a bonus to damage. Rages incur a penalty to stamina regeneration, however, which constraint reduces. Resilience adds a bonus to health regeneration in this mode. Focus the power of rage more effectively. Retain control during rages, reducing penalty to stamina. And final blow, all the Berserker's stamina goes into a single swing. If the blow connects, the attack inflicts extra damage proportional to the amount of stamina lost. Okay. Uh, full warrior, so threaten, bravery, and death blow. And then has Dwarven resistance and Many on the two-handed tree. Okay, what are your tactics? So, Ogren just rocking. Let's make him a scrapper with aggressive. I feel like we need him to... Um... I feel like he needs to do... Th he needs to have threaten happening. Doesn't have um, it's the ability that I'm looking for. Doesn't have taunt yet. You have to separate. But we'll we'll see how this we'll see how this goes, won't we? We will see how this goes. He's got a dark spawn killing weapon, ageless, and a berserker reaver. Cool, and then we've got Shale, and then Wynn's here just to be a healer. We are, Wynn's just here to have fun. She's just on her... She's just living her best her best life, apparently. Let us be on our way. <laughs> just just living, her, living her best life. She's like, yep, I'm just here to heal the team. And then Shale and Ogren are here for lore reasons. Ah, there we go. So Caradon's Cross. We've unlocked a new area. The Deep Roads. Let's go find your wife, Branka. And then hopefully we don't have to kill your wife like Here Balin's asked. Cross. I can't believe Balin actually tracked this place down. This used to be one of the biggest crossroads in the old empire. You could get anywhere from here, including Orton Taig. No one's no one's been or seen this place in 500 years. And then there's just a random, like, elven mage down the back there or a human mage <laughs> see any sign of bronca yet we just got here what's so important about autentag it's the home of Caradon, the paragon who made the anvil he was an orton before he founded his own house and even then he spent most of his time in their tag bronca figured it was the best guess for where the anvil was located okay Who's Caradon again? Yeah, only Bronca's hero, the most famed paragon ever to rise from Smith Cast. He built the anvil, and he's the only one who ever knew its secret. Do you know anything else about the anvil? No one but Caradon ever really knew more than it had some kind of stone blessed power. Every golem who ever ranged across the Empire was hammered on the steel of that anvil. But no one ever knew exactly how they were made. But Bronco was sure she could find out. See any sign of Bronco yet? Not a one. But trust me, we will once we're on the path to the old Orton Tig. She was going to Keridan's home. Great. So you know where to go from here. Aye. Bronco dug up some maps of the ancient empire. It's a little tough to tell with so much of it collapsed now. 
But near as I can figure, we're on the right path to Orton Taig. Great, let's go. I've been waiting for someone to say that for two sodding years. I've got a... I've got a... Dwarven... Oh, plus 14. Nice. I got a Dwarven companion. Finally. The Dwarf Brothers. Let's go. This is a very interesting squad. Wind's just like... What have I got myself into? Alright. Well, it looks like... Oh, hired goons and an, yeah, an elven mercenary. Okay. And road markers. This translation of this plaque reads, Stand forever, guard the path. Darkness grows, yet we hold. It shall be done. The darkest path is filled with sorrows, yet I will stand the test. Well, look what we have here. Some of Balin's new toadies. Let's show them who's king. More <laughs> okay. Oh my dog. Oh, that's another thing actually. I could just have my dog run in and just pin a mage down as well and just chew its chew their faces off. That's a good idea. Let's end this quickly. Oh. No Did a lot of damage too. Oh, damn. Very well. As you say. As you say. Oh, I'll take it. Oh, then we got Darkspawn around the corner. Well, Ogren's got the... Oh, they're dead. I'm reminded of a certain former master whose head I crushed, or so I'm told. Oh, I'm sorry, Shane. I am simply curious about you, that's all. As my former master would say during his experiments. Oh, I would do no such thing. I just find the idea of you so fascinating. On the one hand, it seems it would be so sad and so lonely in existence. And on the other, you are so very powerful. No golem I know of has ever had free will as you do. May I ask what you intend to do with it? Other than exterminating the vermin of the sky? Uh, yes. Other than that? I do not know. Crushing heads is fun, for now. Well, that's something. They have good banter, uh, Shale and Wynn, though, so I do like having them along. Okay, the Dark Spawn have been slain, which means there is a greater threat here. I shall do it. Okay, two pathways. Let's go down this first one. This deep roads, like there's, looks like there's a whole bunch here. So I don't know how much more, if there is more to like locations here to unlock as well, but this is genuinely massive. It lives up to the, it lives up to expectations. It lives up to all of the dialogue and lore about it too. It's actually, like crazy how how large this game is to be honest with you okay hello it's very very large game oh let's go swing that sword dark spawn about to get cleaned up baby Ogren will just defeat the Blight on his own at this rate. Some good shit. Ninety-two out of one hundred and ten. 
Alright. Hopefully... Well, I mean, we'll probably have to deal with my inventory again. I might have to leave and come back. Because I forget. Why won't my character target him? I'm helping! It's a trap! It's a trap! Where are you guys going? Oh shit, there's a pathway up here? Look there, a cunning trap. It's a trap. Jesus. Fucking, what the fuck? Okay. Holy crap. God, it's always the Herlock Emissary, isn't it? Nice job, Shale. What's that smell? It's you, Ogrid, apparently. God, dog doing overwhelm is so good. It's just the surprise her like emissary to almost fuck you up completely. As you say. Yeah, everybody got separated because of like Ogren and Wynn and just like uh like bye everybody. I'm gonna go run over this bridge now. A bunch of traps Very to disarm well. on a bridge. It has begun. As you say, it shall be done. I shall do you it. wish satisfied ah. by <laughs> God, just a just a constant fucking battle. Oh, there's no go. Hold on, hold, hold, hold. Draw them to us. Draw them to us. Attack these people first, and then attack the ogre. Be smart about it. <laughs> what the fuck are these? Shrieks. What the fuck are these? What the fuck? Whoa. They be shrieking, all right. Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, we're being attacked from a distance, which really annoys me because we're going to draw the ogre in. I was hoping for a chance for the battle to end. Uh, which means this ogre is going to come in. Okay. All right, it's time to, guys, we got to go in then. Here he, here he comes. Here he comes. Uh, at the very least, maybe what we can do is we can retreat so the archers aren't attacking us. Be done. We'll pull everyone back. Foolish. Oh. Their range is fucking annoying as hell. Alright, the ogre's actually stuck. Your orders? Wind can attack him from here, apparently. Um, all right, let's just fucking go in then. Fuck it. Ogre got himself stuck anyway. <laughs> so this this works out as intended. Oh, maybe not. Man's gonna throw a rock. Man's got shit aim. All right, it's ogre time. This is wild. Oh, he's a weak ogre anyway. It was a weak ogre anyway. Well, I fought bigger ogres in my time. Didn't even have any good loot on him. Shrieks, though. Did that get added to my... That should get added to my codex. The Crosscut Drifters. Yes, creatures. Nice. Rogan cut a beautiful line down a minor vein today, twisting his supports along the foot wall like a backbone. He's got a gift for lagging. It's almost crystalline. I swear I could tap it and hear the stones sing. Non-standard by any inspector's measure, but that's the sodding point, isn't it? We're letting the stone take us where she wants, not gouging out highways so the palace can have another pantry. I suspect they will revoke our privileges at the next assembly sitting. I say good luck to them. They'll never find us to deliver the writ. They are afraid of the road we travel. We're close to a major strike. The stone, she's pulling us to something, and to the vents. If I'll let dwarves who deny their sense get in the way of it. From the Journal of Brunar, founding fellow of the Cross Cut Drifters. Okay. Uh, creatures, a shriek. Scholars call these tall, lean darkspawn the Sharlock, though they are more popularly known as shrieks because of the ear-splitting cries they emit in battle. Many tales exist of soldiers being unnerved by the sounds of approaching shrieks, cloaked in darkness and never seen, until the moment they strike. As horrors of the night, shrieks are renowned for their incredible speed and agility as well as their stealth. They are the assassins of the darkspawn, penetrating the enemy lines and striking their targets using long, jagged blades attached to their forearms to rip the opponent to shreds in seconds. They've been known to employ poison, often drawn from their own blood, and have demonstrated cunning group tactics when attacking in numbers. That's badass. Darkspawn got them assassins. Very well. Acid flask, nice. Acidic coating, also nice. Damn, this is this is only one small section of this as well. I hear a shriek. Yeah, we're definitely gonna run out of we're gonna, gonna run out of inventory space. I'll I'll uh I'll clean up after this area, I think. Damn, they look awesome. What a, what a cool design. Yeah, 
Yeah, it looks like I'll have to, I'll clear out this area, and then before we proceed further into Caradon's Cross, I will go back to the party camp. Adjust my inventory. Sell some stuff. Uh, this takes us to another pathway that takes us further into the deep roads. Okay, maybe that's the extra stuff then. And there's enemies down there. What's this way? Oh, I can leave here. Oh, it's an it's an opportunity to leave. Cool. I'll take it, and I'll head back to the party camp. Alright, party camp. Party camp and inventory management done. Sold some stuff. Ambushed by Darkspawn on my way back to Ozma. Oh, damn. Oh, they got the Darkspawn leader there. Okay. Oh, oh, the triple stun. Literally, like, did not even fucking pay attention to my dude's health. Wake up. Get back into the fight. Focus. <laughs> You've lost focus. It has begun. I'm fine. Look there, a cunning trap. Oh, okay. It's a trap. As you say, Easy claps. Let's go. Okay. Human corpse with a studded helmet. I shall do it. And nobody died. Are we we're still in battle? Shall be done. Still in battle apparently? Who's, who's around here? Oh, it's just because I had to return to the dog? Okay. Interesting. I got my level up. Let me put some... Let's get our cunning to 40, and I'll put... Uh, Constitution to 20. Uh, and then I'm going to do... Master Combat Training. So we can do the last ray, but the one that we're going to get is we're going to get lethality because if our rogue's cunning score is greater than strength, sharpness of mind lets the character use the cunning modifier to affect attack damage in place of the strength modifier. Bing bong. That's what we're going for, baby. All right. Let us move on. Get out of here. Um, okay. Okay. <sighs> Jesus. She really is old. She is gonna go at any moment. Jesus, I thought, I was just like, oh, a wind just had a heart attack after a darkspawn fight. She's gone. Holy shit. Uh, you all right? <laughs> For a moment there, I thought I was... I thought it was all over. Damn. She's not playing around.
Thought what was over? Everything. Everything. I... I will explain everything when we are back at camp. Now is not the time. Should we head back to camp for a brief moment there? Win? You good? I'm gonna go back to the party camp real quick. Hold on. It seems I must retract a statement I made earlier. The Elder Mage is not at all like my former master. Oh? That's a good thing, is it? It is. Unless you happen to like having your head crushed. Not that I remember doing that. You know, I... I think I even remember who you speak of. His name was Wilhelm, yes? From the Free Marches? It was Wilhelm of shrill voice and the control rod that he enjoyed wielding very much. Any more than that, he did not divulge. Well, if it was the same man, he had quite the reputation. A scholar of some means who disappeared mysteriously. Mystery solved. I killed him. I expect I smiled, much as I'm able to. <laughs> you do speak your mind, don't you? Fortunately, no other part of me has anything to say. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's talk to... Let's talk to... Win at the party camp. We haven't checked in with people at the party camp for a while. But let's have a look. Explanation for what happened earlier. You mean when you collapsed in battle? You should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. You spoke to Petra, did you not? She told you I saved her from a demon. I did, but I did not survive that encounter. You're undead? No, I'm not undead. If I were a possessed walking corpse and could still think, I'd kill myself. I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me sound light i remember being enveloped in complete impenetrable darkness and then i sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me whispering quietly to me the sensation is impossible to describe i was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp i felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again. I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. Oh, um, so you were never really completely dead then? The Fade contained spirits both benevolent and malicious. The benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known because they want nothing from mortals, unlike the demons. It was one of these spirits that saved me. Without it, I would be dead. And it has not left me. It is with me, even now, bonded to me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. Damn, that's heavy. And now it all makes sense. Why she's like, ah, any moment now, guys, I'm gone. Wow. Um, then we will make the best of that time. Yes, that we will. Whoa, okay. What's on your mind? Why did the spirit choose to help you? I have always had an affinity for the spirits of the Fade. As a child, I never feared my dreams because I knew they were there. What about demons? I could sense the demons too, and their presence frightened me. It was the kindly spirits of the Fade that took the fear from me. I've always been able to feel the spirits, even if I never saw them. And as I nurtured my talent in the circle, I became more sensitive. I began to notice every time I was in the Fade, whether it was in a dream or in magical practice, that I was being watched. 
creepy. Sometimes I would see it, a glowing, nebulous form. Most times I would just feel its presence, gentle and comforting, but somehow alien. I think it is a spirit of faith. They have never been seen before, and perhaps I am wrong. But something tells me I'm not. It always felt like the same entity. This one spirit was curious about me and was guarding me, for want of a better word. Interesting. You're very lucky. There were times when I was in the Fade that it seemed to stretch forth to shield me, keeping me safe. And I think it gave me strength in my most terrible battles, Ostagar being one of them. Damn. So I just realized why Wynne comes back from the dead when she gets knocked out in battle. <laughs> it's because of that. That's her That's her plot ability. She, she literally, uh, I was like, I made a joke about it. <sighs> Sorry, I got so many yawns coming out of me today. Um, sleeping pattern is definitely in good order. <laughs> um, I was making jokes about that. She can just die and come back to life. It's actually a plot reason. So this spirit of faith is your personal protector. I don't know why I was chosen. Perhaps it knew that there was something more that lay in store for me. I like to think that I was given a rare chance. And I'm going to make the best of the time so generously given to me. Damn. I'm glad you think traveling with me is worthy of your time. I will not lie motionless in a bed with coverlets up to my chin, waiting for death to claim me. That is not the death for me. And so I will fight alongside the Grey Warden and help prepare him for the task that is yet before him. So you had better listen to me, because I swear, if I should fall before the end and you don't seem to be doing things properly, I'll get up again to give you a good finger-wagging. I'll hold you to that promise. You know... I think you'll be all right, even without my help. Wynn and Loki, one of the best companions. I really like Wynn. She's great. That's, uh, that's just bizarre, though. Wynn, Wynn got that, uh, what is it? Can't. Maybe I can only see it in um, when we're outside. She got that ability. Maybe we can only see it when we're out of the party camp. Um, wild. She dead, but not really. But almost dead. She on the she on the end of. <laughs> yes. She on the end of her tether. That's crazy. Um, okay. Win. Where is it? Am I crazy? Win had a I swear I saw it. It's in it was in here somewhere. There was like a a plot thing given to her. Am I insane? I, I swear I remember seeing something because that was like the, the ability that happens when she gets knocked out of combat. I don't know where that is. So you remember your old master's name, right? And everything about him? Is it still going on about my memory? Such focus must be incredibly difficult for it to maintain. You don't remember killing him, or how you got all free-willed or anything, but you do remember the next 30 years? More or less. My former master did something to me which I do not remember. What is its point? Ah, how could you know he did something to you, unless you remember it? Let us, for argument's sake, assume it is correct. I murdered the fool on purpose, and remember it. Why would I lie? Because you, uh, could do it again. Yes, 
I waited 30 years biding my time until I could strike. Soon my betrayal shall be complete. Exactly. I knew it. Ha! Well, do not tell anyone. I want it to be a surprise when it happens. Ogren being suspicious of Shale's memory loss, apparently. Back into the deep roads we go. Is there an, a trust valor, my nug wrangling friend? I got an item this time. Dead metal bucket. The Maker's Mark traces this helm to Camba, one of the first human settlements to fall to the Darkspawn. The city is long a ruin, but strangely, the helm bears non-traditional elements. 30 strength and 25 mental resistance. Uh, well, unfortunately, this gives you extra health. I do not have 30 strength. I've got 26 strength. But I would like to put that on my head soon, so maybe I'll put some points into strength. Slowly but surely. So I got a, I got a bucket. Okay, so we start off at the beginning again, but we get an opportunity for an exit there. We're going to check out this side now. While we're here. Much smaller inventory size, which is good. What was the base level of inventory? Like 70, I think. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, it's down here. The fuck? Oh, yeah, Deep Stalker. <laughs> Looks really weird for a second. You're definitely luring me into a trap, but that's fine. Spring the trap. Yeah. <laughs> Can't ad put activate. Ah, oh, I have to pick a target. Oh, I meant to do quake. That's why. There we go. <laughs> I was like, why isn't doing it? Pick the wrong move. Oh, another small bloody sack. Eh? This is our second small bloody sack. Very well. More limbs. Head in a bag. The head of some demonic creatures in this sack. We're just putting all the limbs together and we're going to have to do a fight, aren't we? Absolutely. Um, a torn ritual page of indeterminate origin. The body rendered to its separate parts, spread wide such that no life is witnessed, no heartbeat detected. In this way, the beast can remain for an age as knowledge passes and pursuers live out their lives. I was wrong, not Elven. Hunters didn't kill it. It allowed this. Keep the pieces apart, I guess. Away from the heart. As we just slowly piece it back together. Fun. I think after this section of the, the deep roads, we should take a vacation and go to the Circle of Magi, because we've got like two rule two quests to do there, plus a reaver to kill in the tower still, with like a blood vial. <laughs> Oh, of course, get surprised from behind. You guys are fine. I'll take these on my own. Wonderful. Oh, there are many of them, aren't there? Oh, my God. 
Do my happy dance. Okay, we got a rune stone on shapers. The shapers' life. Um, damn, which one? <laughs> I think it might be this one. The old path. Far from abandoned, the deep roads are patrolled by those who fight for Ozmar and the stone. These defenders have seen great and tragic events unfold, but they are committed to the moment, not the memory. It is the Shaper's burden to walk this path with a mind to observation. He will fight if pressed, every dwarf owes that to the stone, but his purpose is to record, not create. Although dark and deep, the old paths are alive with deeds. Only the dedication of the Shaper can ensure they are not lost to the memories. Um... Oh, Wynn has an update. Okay, one more character to add to the list. So either this is going to be a companion or just another maybe like person that comes in, but we've almost got all of the big characters. So if there's no one else to add into the party, I'm, I, f I feel like it could be an enemy or just another random main person that we meet. We have, because we've still got the Brazilian Wilds. We've got a bunch. But when you look at the codex and it says one person remaining in characters that are at least noteworthy, that, that becomes very interesting. But it's either a party member or it's not. <laughs> the two determining factors. All right, this goes out to another section of road. Oh, hello. I shall do it. This is a waste of time. Good, another down. Jesus, okay. I got stuck in the trap because I'm a smart boy. Jesus. Smoke screening? Right, get that fucking thing out of here. Jesus. Totem. Small wooden totem with figures of demons and other strange beasts carved into it. Okay. As you say. As you say. Let's see what these road markers say. The word on this statue had <laughs> too damaged to read. The words on the statue are too damaged to read from what you can make out. It seems this was a memorial to a child paragon. Okay. Uh, 
right, we got another one. This one. We found trouble, all right. Rogan's Lyrium Vein led right to the flank of a Darkspawn horde. From the looks of their kit, the spawn were a week, maybe less, from breakthrough into that blasted new highway under Ozamar, and they'd be well behind any patrols. The stone knew, she knew, and she drew her chosen with a promise of all we could taste in our bones. If all goes well, losing this cavern will kill the Darkspawn's taste for digging, and Ozamar will never know it was at risk. Will be a distant tremor, a ripple in the royal fountain. The charges are laid. We know it will work and we know the cost. The stone has shown us the way home. I can investigate a barrel. It's a trap. Yep, I'll take everything from that barrel. From that empty barrel. We got two running away. Ogren's going straight for the ones that are running away. Can you guys hold, please? <laughs> Ironic, the Genlock, the Genlock runner is the one that doesn't run away. The translation of this plaque reads, Sing praises to the stone. May her arms be ever open to us. All right, well, those ones ran away. So we'll go after them later. Oh, and this connects here. Nice, they're so going there, goes around. It's good to know. Okay. I do like it when uh when pathways open up and uh connect. As you say. Oh, I've got everyone on hold. Help me. Well, we've already been that way, so that's fine. And before we go down there, we're going to go this way, I think. Oh, actually, this might be... This might be the optional way, who knows? Let's see where these bad boys ran off to, eh? Trying to lure us in here to an emissary, of course. Watch out. <laughs> Dark spawn mall shall be done. Okay, so they just ran away, ran away to dark spawn assistance. Oh, <laughs> Ogre Alpha, Ogre Alpha, okay. And a bunch of shrieks. Okay, I did a decent amount of damage straight off the bat, which is good. Get this Ogre out of here because it's not paying attention to me. Let's go. Shale and Ogren are a great combo. Great combo. Shale getting everyone's attention and then Ogren just beating them down. And me just stabbing him in the back. This is a good, this is a good, uh, a good squad. Liliana was, was doing okay, right? She was singing her heart out. We love her for it. Watch this become just my party going forward. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, everybody else. Got to figure out uh, what Ogren likes, but we already... Sorry, Ogren, but we already got his... Um, get his approval up, and then we'll see what he wants us to do. 
see what he, what his life is like. Are we going the way that we're meant to go? Who knows? Could that just be a dead end? Likely. That's why I save just in case we approach a point of no return or something. Ah. Uh, watch this road connect then, I would say. Yeah, there's an exit. Alright. This looks like the right way out. Poor time tag. It won't be long now. Okay. I dare say this road will connect here in that case. Ah, Wynn. Care to partake of Ogren's fine homebrew? It's the drink of the gods. Mm, ale, is it? And I hope it's brewed hygienically? Of course. I may not know clean from a beggar's ass when it comes to most things, but I don't mess around with my ale. Very well, let's have a taste. Well, well, what do you think? Mm, very nice. <laughs> Like it? <laughs> well, I never. Attractive amber color, nutty flavor, slightly sweet, just a hint of toastiness. There's some spice to it I'm finding hard to place. Yes, yes. Is it cloves? Cloves! Ha <laughs> ha! By the stone, you're a lady after my own heart. If I weren't buckled in this armor, I'd take you around the corner and, well, you know. Give me more ale. I think we found the best squad. We found the best squad. Win and Ogren with their lover of alcohol, uh, their love of alcohol together, and Shale giving all both of them crap. Perfect. What a what a team. Among the jumble of containers, there is a glint of something different. Another small glass phylactery sits conspicuously on its own. The area is unnaturally cold. Dark shapes swirl around a slip of paper within the vial. Let's take on another Reaver. Take the vial. It fractures at our touch. There it is, baby. Ah, oh, so Revenant, not a Reaver. Revenant. Is there something else here? No. I was like, the dog's looking in another direction. Shall be done. I shall do it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We got him. Nice. It shall be done. Emerald and a scrap of paper. Dirt encrusted piece of paper. An emerald, baby. Codex updated. The black vials. So this would have been the third one. And the, I think the first one's the Circle of Magi that we haven't f taken yet. This realm denies you abomination for taking our dearest. We are united against your kind and bind you by your true name. Argruth Massad, revenant and perversion of a treasured mother. No more shall fall, no more shall need to stand. Andraste, hold you, demon, and bind your rage for eternity. Cool. Oh, we read that road marker. Cool. Let's go off to the left path here as well. Cleaning out the deep roads. That's what I'm here for. I'm just a dwarf coming up to clean up in the name of the stone. Now, what's this way? Uh, another small bloody sack. It's nice having a good handle on 
my uh, my my characters and their abilities. I'm I'm very happy about it, despite the fact that I obviously will still walk into a situation that I'm like not prepared for and just get absolutely wrecked. It's still like so rewarding to have. Um, still so rewarding to have mostly some pretty good encounters take place. Very well. Another bloody sack. Torso in a bag. Might not be an elven, maybe human. Doesn't matter, we can still follow directions. Torso, head, and limbs, bagged and dispersed. Simple enough, this magic stuff doesn't seem that complicated. Shape of Axis. No job for a warrior. First hole gets the bag. You have found the grisly remains of some kind of fade beast, one that may have intentionally dismembered itself. Comparing the notes suggests the carving was done in the deep roads near Caradon's Cross. So I can find, like, where it... I can find, like, where it happened, I suppose. And then... And then what, I guess? Piece it back together? Oh my god. Don't activate it. <laughs> activate it. Okay, this is... Very particular about where I need to highlight it. Oh. <laughs> so somewhere in the deep roads, eh? Maybe if I just keep going down this way, it might be just down here. Ah, oh, sarcophagus, maybe? There you go. There's a sarcophagus. That might be where the heart's kept. Oh, second round. Oh, never mind. <laughs> There's more. Just when you think it's over, it ain't over. They attempt to overwhelm us with their numbers. Oh, Deepstalker Matriarch. Oh shit, I didn't even realize there was a there was a fucking special one here. Yo. Still no loot, even from taking out the matriarch though. Cool. Um This first one. Fools and renegades, the lot of them. We accept that there is a time for ordered and educated treasure hunting, but not when a foundation remains to be cut. What fortunes have they made? What houses have they elevated? The minor veins they have traced have satisfied neither this assembly nor their own gambler's thirst. Their actions can only grow more erratic and undisciplined, and while no incidents have been reported, they will eventually undermine the stability of a major passage. It is the opinion of this assembly that prospecting be restricted until we can certain, certain until we can be certain. I, to I, I, I totally missed B. So I was like, we can certain. And I was like, we can, 
for some reason my brain wanted to say ascertain, so I was like, certain? What? Words? We can be certain of the stability of the deep roads. These cross-cut drifters can find their fortune in a trade. Let animals burrow wherever their nose points them. Dwarves are meant to excavate by careful degrees. From an assembly memorandum. Okay, a sarcophagus. We got, a, we got a hot, we got a heart in there. Oh, disappointing. Okay, I was like, surely that would be it, right? Apparently not. So somewhere else in here is where that is. If I make it act, my active quest. Will it, uh, show up? Nope. What's that I gotta go find it. Uh, I looked everywhere and I cannot see it or find it around here. Caradon's Cross. It says near Caradon's Cross. So it might be in the next, might be in the next area. Uh, so with that one, as we enter the next area, which should be Autumn Tig, we will bring this episode of Dragon Age Origins to a close as we have explored Caradon's Cross and had Ogren join our team. And this is a great squad. I really like it. Uh, we're going to continue next time into Autumn Tig, most likely find Branca and, uh, and see what happens. So thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time.